Karthik Natarajan, pain and spine physician from the Synapse Pain and Spine Clinic in Chennai, India. Today I am going to be talking a little bit about back pain. So in any ortho or pain clinic, we do see patients with back pain. About 60 to 70 percent of patients who walk into our clinic have back pain. So this is a very common symptom that we see among our population and also considering we all have sedentary lifestyles. Most of us are office goers who don't do a lot of physical activity. Back pain has increased enormously in our population. Now, I'm going to talk to you about some basic lifestyle changes that can be done to prevent back pain. And also, I'm going to tell you some tricks about how to take care of your spine. So, I'm going to tell you some tips to have a healthy spine. First thing is regular activity. So as a doctor, we encourage patients to have regular activity. So when I say regular activity, it includes at least 30 minutes of aerobic activity every day. So the activities that we suggest are regular walking, shuttlecock, yoga, swimming, that sort of exercises. So at least half an hour of regular walk. Suppose you don't have a space to walk, at least get some walk in your terrace or outside your house, inside your compound with a bit of sunlight. So sunlight exposure is something that we recommend. Second thing that we talk about to take care of your back is if your job or your day-to-day -day activities includes lifting any heavy weight, we want you to be careful when you lift weights. This could be articles that you lift in work. It could be water cans, it could be buckets that you lift at home. So when you are lifting weight, normally what we do is we stand straight, bend our backs down and lift the weight. So as a doctor who is advising patients with back pain, what I usually suggest my patients is, instead of bending your back to lift the weight, we ask you not to bend your back, instead to keep your back straight, bend your knees go down like a squat, lift the weight and straighten up. So instead of bending your back, we encourage patients to bend the knees, go down, lift the weight carefully and lift it up. This is very good for patients who have back pain or patients who have problems like spondylosis, disc prolapse, slip disc, that sort of condition. Uh, next thing we do is how do you commute? So a lot of people in our country commute by two wheelers or three wheelers. Now, usually what happens is if the road is uneven or if you're going very fast in a speed breaker or in a ditch, it jerks your back and you may hurt your back a little bit more. So somebody who's commuting to work, especially if you're in a job which includes a lot of travel, if you're in a sales job or a marketing job where you have to meet a lot of people, generally we encourage four wheelers so walking is fine, car, bus, train, plane is fine, but somebody with back pain, we encourage you to avoid two wheelers, autos, share autos, because these vehicles jerk your back some more and you may injure the back. So generally, patients with back pain, we encourage you to use car, bus, train, plane, but uh, not too much of uh, two wheelers, auto, share autos. Third thing I'm gonna talk about is what sort of bed mattress you use at home. So we want a bed mattress which is reasonably firm and not too soft. We don't want you sinking into the mattress. So we want a reasonably firm bed mattress and we want a medium sized pillow. And the, the next thing that I want to talk about is if you are a sedentary office goer who's sitting quietly in your office and doing long hours of work, you're doing a computer job, you are a sedentary lifestyle person. So when you sit in your office, when you work in front of your computer monitors, we want you to have a back, a chair with a back support. So ideally you want a chair with a back support and you want to be sitting back. So the lower back is touching the back support and you're maintaining a, maintaining a good posture. So you're sitting straight in your back. The monitor that is in front of you needs to be in the correct height and correct level. If you're going to be sitting for long hours, an armrest in your chair is a good idea. If you're holding the mouse, we want you to rest your wrist and hold the mouse, not hold the mouse in the air. 
So good back support, monitor the correct height, correct level, and arm rest. And uh, we, we want you to take periodic breaks. So we, we don't want you to sit continuously. We want you to take periodic breaks when you sit for long hours. So every half an hour, 45 minutes, it will be a good idea to take a break, get some water, go to the loose, stretch yourself. That will be a good idea. And the last thing to take care of your back is diet. So we want you to eat healthy home food, home cooked diet. So we want you to have a lot of fresh vegetables, fruits, uh, spinach, carrots, that group of stuff. Uh, protein intake has to be adequate. So basically I talked about some very basic lifestyle changes and tips to take care of your back pain. So unlike the knee and the hip joint, the spine cannot be replaced. So all of us are born with only one spine. So we have to take good care of it. So I hope you follow these advices and keep a healthy spine and avoid back pain. This is Dr. Karthik Natarajan from Chennai, India. Thank you.